Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're at Lone Star Throwdown 2023. It's super quiet at the moment because they haven't let anybody in yet, but I slept in Homewrecker here in the kicker booth last night and uh, Deer Dance and all, kicker still let me be in their booth because she does have 300,000 miles on her roof speakers, interior speaker. Uh, the stuff has worked great its whole life, snow, rain, all that stuff on the outdoor, on their marine speakers. But uh, thanks to the people at Kicker letting us hang out with them here in the booth this weekend. And uh, we're gonna walk around, check out the show. Hope you guys like it. It's our favorite truck show in the US. Of course, we haven't been overseas yet, so I can't say in the world, but uh, probably in the world. But welcome to Conroe, Texas and uh, LST 2023.
So tell me about your dad's van, Jake. So this is a 1977 Dodge B100. And my dad originally built this back in 1977. He drove it right off the lot, straight to his buddy shop, and they cut the damn roof off of it. Uh, my dad talks a lot of shit to me about taking brand new trucks and ruining them, but the apple don't fall far from the tree. So this truck was gone before I was ever born. I think it was sold in 78. I was born in 82. About five years ago, I found it. They're still in Oklahoma City, not too far from me. And uh, I, I hounded the guy that owned it to try to sell it to me over and over and over. He wouldn't ever sell it to me. So uh, uh, fast forward about two or three years later, the guy finally calls me and says, I'll sell it. I'll sell it to you because it's you. And I end up buying it. Uh, at the time it was yellow with a whole bunch of red graphics and shit down the side. But luckily they left the, the pretty green interior, which is all still original minus the carpet. I did replace the carpet. And uh, we restored it. Me and uh, every one of my buddies, not every one of my buddies, but like most of my buddies. Anybody all the good that, ones at least. All right? the good ones that, that had a helping hand that could help do the body work, the paint work, the graphics, everything else. And we, we restored it back to what it was back in 1977. Awesome. And uh, for my dad's birthday last year, 2022, we give it back to him for his birthday uh, as a birthday gift. So uh, really cool story to go along with a really cool van. A lot of history with it, especially in the family. And uh, was able to give it back to him as a gift. Uh, maybe in almost... 40 years old at that time so I was able to give him a gift back for the gift that he gave me of being into the the car scene and, and knowing how to modify stuff so and and uh, you know a lot of the tools that I fucked up of his way back in the day so <laughs> here you go dad this is yours because of all them tools that I ruined so awesome thanks dude thank you yep now if you can just get out of traffic please <laughs> Hey, I want you to meet one of my oldest friends, Rob Valentine, and he bought one of the coolest cars at LST. What do you got, Rob? How's it going, man? Robert Valentine. I got a 1957 Plymouth Belvedere. Uh, this car was actually built by Brendan Vituski in the Mattel Inc. Uh, building in Van Nuys, California. He's a designer for uh, Mattel and Hot Wheels. Uh, he built this whole car. It's got a LS1 drivetrain. Mustang II suspension, forward disc brakes, kind of a Frankenstein and stuff, but uh, he built it uh, particularly to take it to a March of Dimes auction and sell it. Um, after he sold it, it went to a guy down here in Texas, an old man. I happened to see it, scooped it up, and we're just gonna keep it exactly like it is. Uh, the Hot Wheel is actually inside the car. The whole build sheet for every nut and bolt in the car is in there. It's just a, it's a cruiser, it's a driver. It's been sitting this same exact way since 2007. Awesome, dude. Good seeing you as well. Good seeing you, man. Yep, it's always good to run to old friends here, especially when they have really cool stuff. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Robert. Have a good day. Yep.
Hey, we're here at uh, LST 2023. And before the crowd gets here and the stereos get loud, I want uh, Mike Loesch from Slosh Tubs to show you his new product. He's known for the uh, fenders for the square bodies and stuff. And his wife's truck, we're gonna show you this product here in a bit of it. But Mike, tell me about your new product. Uh, this is our new product called the Eight Squared. So we're building a custom flush fit box. Doesn't take up any leg space in your square body and allows you to mount the two kicker eights in it. It's got a customizable panel in the middle to mount your amp and uh, trim it out so you can see however much of the amp and stuff you'd like to see. Awesome, cool. Yeah, and get the ones for kickers. Don't buy these JL ones because <laughs> even though kicker doesn't pay me to say that, I am in their booth, so I gotta say that. So, But we'll go over and I'll show you inside the truck here. But yeah, this is a cool new product and it saves you a ton of time. And how much do these run? $9.95. $9.95 and all you gotta do is mount your amps and upholster and it fits right in the back of your square body. All right, back to the show. Photographer on photography. He probably makes more money than I do, though. I don't know about that. He probably has a home. He doesn't live in a van. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. It's all right. No, I don't care. Yeah, Just go then. <laughs> I'll see you around, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. These are the busiest guys in the show here. They're gonna judge 2,000 vehicles this weekend. And uh, it's a little slow now, but you come in the main gate, come right into judges, drive through judging, and they look at every vehicle that wants to be judged. 
probably judge a thousand to 1500, but there are 2000 registered vehicles here. And, uh, but definitely the hardest working guys at LST. And uh, if you come to the show, don't be a dick to them because they're just doing their job. But uh, and they do a great job of it.
How's it going? Oh, I made it this far. Don't you have warrants? Your guys are allowed out of Colorado. Well, I know she's got warrants. <laughs> How's she allowed out of Colorado? Oh, no, no one knows she's here, man. This thing's awesome, dude. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Glad Turned you guys can make it. Hell yeah. Yep.
<laughs> There's no such thing as a good picture of me. This world famous TV personality, Shorty. What's up, guys? What when, what time's your show on? Well, you know, we just finished the first season uh, a few weeks ago. Yep. And uh, we're in about three weeks. We're about to start the second season. Awesome. So, uh, man, you guys, uh, Motor Trend, same channel. Make sure you tune in and watch it. Awesome. But it won't be till a full year. A full year. Yep. You know, we start filming, and then obviously they don't come out till around Christmas. Awesome. So. Cool. Make sure you check out, what's the name of your show? I'm sorry. Shorty's Dream Shack. Shorty's Dream Shack. I knew I had Shorty's in a title, and Shorty's one of our best friends. It's good to see him out here at LST. So, uh, did you find anything you really like here? Oh, yeah. I love that van right there. Oh, that Sprinter van with the deer <laughs> dance on the side of it? <laughs> All right. Have a good show, man. Got it again today. Oh, yeah. Famous Milo Reyna. Are you drinking your breakfast calories this yes, morning? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got my protein, and then obviously yeah. you got your veggies right here, and a little so bit. So is that of how you got this? A lot of these. Is, is drinking a lot of those. A lot of these. Sweet. Of those. You heard it here first. If you want to get jacked, drink these borracho Michelada mix. Micheladas for At breakfast. At least three a day. At least three a day. That's how they do it here in Texas. So this is my buddy Wayne, who just debuted this truck this weekend, and I've been giving him crap because he's running coins on it. So I brought Milo over here because Milo, he has his own wheel line with who, Milo? Raceline wheels. With Raceline wheels. Is there wheels. any other? There is no other. Yes, but uh, don't you think this truck would look way better with some race lines I mean, on it than like having toys on I it? Just, I just think we could have took it a little bit st a step further with some race lines. No. I mean, Simple, I, but I'm kind of biased. You're you kind of biased? I have a biased opinion. I don't know why people stay my friends when I do stuff like this to them on... <laughs> Put them on the spot, right? Put them on That's the spot. That's what good friends are for. Yep. To put you on the yep. spot.
Great car, sir. Your car, man. He's more into whatever he's eating. Of course. <laughs>
Great truck, man. Yep. Bringing down the property values, get out of here.
Get out of the way, buddy. 